we at, buddy? What's up? Where are we at? What are we doing? So, welcome back, first of all. This will probably be an uh, introduction to the first video of a string of videos. We are currently 20 hours into our trip. We're here at uh, Bass Pro Shops Pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee. Ducks Unlimited, Waterfowl Heritage Museum upstairs. Cypress Lodge. Yeah, Cypress Lodge. Tyler never been here. I, nope. I was here back in uh, August. This is my first time here and uh, we kind of made a little detour just to break up the trip a little bit and check out this place. I think it's awesome. I've never been to it before and uh, yeah, but uh, we're on for the next, I don't know, 10 days? Or not seven, that many. Seven days. Seven days plus when we go back home. Plus when we go back home, yeah. Seven to 10 days, we are on a duck hunting bender is what I'm gonna call it. And uh, we're on our way to Arkansas. We are gonna be duck hunting a it's pretty, lot. It's, it's pretty cool. Our, uh, our duck season ended like two weeks ago at home. So taking this trip, it's gonna give us the opportunity to extend the season a little bit. We're gonna get home, hopefully kill some honkers, late season honkers, limit goes up. So we're just waiting for Caleb, like usual. Yeah. So he's in buying a boot dryer because he forgot one. So. First of many things that we have realized we forgot. I brought mine, but he didn't bring one. Did you bring one, Brandon? No. Nah, he don't need it. Yeah, we're 20 hours in. We got another... Two hours. Two hours to go. And I don't know if I'm driving anymore or not, but uh, it's been a good trip so far. Overall, it hasn't been too bad. We kind of dodged the bullet. We had some real bad weather that was supposed to kind of come in, and the storm changed last minute, and, and it opened up our window to travel. So that was really good. And uh, yeah. Other than that, we've been safe, so hopefully we'll see you in Arkansas within the next few hours. So stick with us, guys. Should be an awesome trip. Got some venison tacos tonight. A little bit of green peppers. Some, Walk me uh, through the menu. So we got ground venison, peppers, ground, onions. Peppers, onions. We got some heat and eat Spanish rice. We got some refried beans in here. And we're gonna come over here. Head of lime chips, cheese, sour cream, salsa, taco sauce, ranch, cheese, lettuce, hard shell, soft shell, sour cream. Did you say that? Sour cream. Yeah, sour cream. We got a bunch of hungry, thirsty men out here, and we're in camp here. We shoot another one. He goes away. Two hours later, comes back. Bang! First group that flies over with him there. It's gonna be cool. Duck camp 2023, baby. Yeah, tomorrow morning we're in the timber. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be epic. How was dinner tonight, boys? The dinner was good. <sighs> we got Seth with us here tonight. And Gunner. Seth ate most of the tacos. <laughs> but we, we cleaned up the scraps anyway. So we're gonna finish out uh, day number one, which is really a travel day too. And we just finished making our plan for tomorrow. We're going on Seth's suggestion. Terrible <laughs> idea. Seth? Terrible idea. One Gunner, point what's your input on this? What's my input? Yeah. Water too deep, no ducks there. I mean, just terrible. Uh, there, there's ducks there. How's the season been so far? It's been hit or miss. Hit or miss? Hey, make, keep making ruckus I'm back there, bud. Like Brandon Shoe, hit or miss. <laughs> it, it's been hit or miss. Uh, it's. It's pretty much field to field when you're hunting rice field. Uh, one field will kill a kill a limit of ducks, and the next one will kill two. Uh, you can go back the next day, and two fields will swap. It's it's been hit or miss. It's been uh, the weather's been really wonky here this year. So. Fifteen degrees one day, six. We're fixing to right. see what happens. We got five days to wrap this thing up. We've had some cold weather here lately, and there's a lot of birds around. Yeah. So and there are uh, a lot of pintails. Couple mallards. Couple There's a lot of birds. Seth's not going to get his first duck in Arkansas this year, so we're really excited. <laughs> yeah. A lot, a lot of <laughs> about this opportunity yeah. we have this week. Yeah. We get you a lot of specs, too. Y'all yeah. have plenty of time to learn how to do it. I'm, I'm expecting that camera right there is going to do two things this week video a lot of bird dying and break. Those are the two things. So yeah, that, that's going to be a solid. expansive week. There we go. There you heard it. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to get dinner cleaned up here and, and call it in for the night. We'll see you guys on the podcast maybe tomorrow night, and we'll see you in the morning.
What's up everybody? Good morning. Welcome back. Uh, we are currently watching Chris. Who's driving? Eric? By Eric. Eric, slightly jackknife his trailer. Did you lock your trailer? Uh, no. Alright, we're gonna hope nobody steals it, I guess. Yeah, I guess I, we hope nobody yeah. steals it. Undisclosed location, please don't steal our trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna hit the gas station here in town, meet up with Seth, and... We are going to be getting some food, some coffee, and then we're heading to the boat launch, so should be a good morning. Uh, we're in the timber today, and uh, we'll be boating in. Ooh, you're not used to the no trailer, I guess. No. Oh, <laughs> so, oh man, restless night. Uh, actually, that's not true. By the time everyone fell asleep, we were all pretty tired, especially this guy here. He's very... Uh, I was pretty tired. I fell asleep on the couch. He fell asleep on the couch. But uh, anyways, so, all right guys, we'll see you at the boat launch and uh, when we get rolling here. So, should be an awesome hunt this morning. How you feeling this morning, buddy? Tired. Tired, a little cold. We should be all right though. Can't got of, in here a little late, but. A lot of boats here, it looks like. There's a lot of boats here, but good thing is, we're going the other way. We're going the other way. Going the other way. Last night, Seth was talking about how, hey look, Pellet on my glove. Oh, that's good luck, dude. They so you know you shouldn't steal. As long as you ain't wearing jeans, I don't care. What? As long as you ain't wearing jeans. What do you mean? You can't wear jeans with duck Why's that? Bad luck. We're just uncomfortable, one of the two. Yeah, we're just very <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah. How do you like those waders at? They're pretty good. I got them this year. Uh, they ain't leaked yet. I ain't got no complaints. Uh, so, so that's one step up from the, the old banded ones. Don't fall in, yeah, buddy. I got so many clothes on, I can't even manipulate. There you go. Seth's motor is uh, overworked, undercared for. <laughs> you gonna turn us out of here? Yeah, I gotta figure out uh, how I'm gonna navigate this here. You gonna turn back and bang it right? Alrighty guys, we finally got to our hole. There was a little bit of boat trouble, but uh, it's gonna probably be hard for you guys nice to tell right now, there. but we got a big, probably, I don't know, it's probably like 50 by 50, right, you'd say B? Oh yeah, it's, it's Maybe 80 it's by pretty, 80? It's a pretty good size Actually, it's, hole. it might be bigger than that. It's hard, kinda hard to tell in the dark here, but it's a pretty good size hole. I think we got around three dozen mallards. Three, four dozen, I think. Three, four so. dozen, there were some black ducks I think they threw. We got a couple jerk rigs going, so. Standing on the edge in the timber over here, and in the trees. We're in about knee deep water. Dude, I'm so excited. This is awesome. Birthday mallards today. Birthday mallards. Oh. Alright guys, it's just shooting light now. You know, I've seen quite a few ducks in and out. A couple of them, we heard a million of them fly over, which is awesome. So we'll see next next birds that come in. We're gonna lay the hammer down. Weep. Weep. 
Well, we had one bird buzz the hole here, and we all just shot and uh, swinging a miss, to say the least. But birds are still moving pretty decently. Haven't seen that many in our hole though, so we're gonna hang out for a little while longer, a couple more hours, and see what happens. If he comes in for shooting, but I don't think he is. No. Oh yeah. Dude, if he makes another pass, I think we're doing it. Behind us, go right here, right around. That's mine. Get him, get him, get him. How he doing? Baby, nobody was shooting. Do what? Nobody was shooting. No, I wasn't gonna shoot. I was gonna let him. Oh yeah. First Arkansas mallard, man. <laughs> Look at that boy, huh? Dude, they're huge. They're huge. Oh man. I don't know what happened with this jerk cord. Doesn't work? Oh, I got two ducks. Oh, right here, right here, right here. There we go, boys. Good shot, Brian. Who, who shot? I shot the tree. I shot the hen. Good. You guys shoot or no? I saw you come around the shoot. tree. You didn't shoot? Dude, those ball slips. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Good shoot. And two minutes later, nice hand mallard. Oh. Nice one, buddy. Alright, guys, so, uh,. I got two mallards there. These got a big old boy here. So look at uh, that! Look at that head shot. Caleb and Chris they went out to uh, scout, and we stayed in the hole. And what happened, B? They bumped a lot of birds up, and we got lucky. Yeah, we did. We uh, they're looking for stuff for the rest of the week. Which shout out to those guys it takes a it takes a special person to be able to leave the hole and go and try and find some other stuff for the uh, the coming days so kudos to those guys they got some birds up for us and uh, Tyler went two for two on shoot and I went one for one and there's got, the outcome right there we got three mallards so there it is all right guys so we're uh, just about cleaned up here this morning we ended up with three mallards uh, it is what it is I mean we killed some birds we saw a ton of birds you know, this is our first morning in with uh, not really any scouting done, just previous history of when these guys have come here in the past. So we're going to roll out of here because we have to be out of here by noon is the Arkansas Game the Fish Law. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to go get some food and game plan for this evening. So 
We'll see what we have in store. We, have, we do have to fix Seth's motors. We're gonna tow him out of here, so that'll be uh, quite interesting. So other than that, we'll see in a little bit. All right, guys. Uh, we just made it back to the house. It's probably around 4:30. Got Caleb yeah, and Brandon. Uh, we got Seth's boat uh, fixed up. I mean, when I say we, I mean Seth. Kind of. I just <laughs> watched him uh, Milwaukee impact drill all the bolts back in place in his head and everything. But anyways. Yep. So we're back here at the house. The other guys are on their way. We just wanted to kind of wrap things up here. Um, for today, we end up not hunting this evening just because of uh, the boat problems and we're trying to Get some plans together on some fields. We can hunt different things like that got some scouting in so We think we have a game plan for tomorrow morning We do have quite a bit of options whether that's going to be timber hunting in the field or whatnot So we just got a game plan with all the other guys and get things sorted out But anything you guys want to say about the first day? I think for the first day it was a successful day Tyler's able to shoot his first Arkansas timber mallard. Mm -hmm. Brandon got a hold of one too, so that was really exciting. Um, Chris and myself, we went do a little scouting. And of course, what happens? You go do a little scouting, and boys, you know, start wearing them out. So, we're glad with that. I think it was a good start to our trip, and looking for it to pick up from here. There's tons of birds around. Just the question is, if you can work them into a hole, and not call on them too much, and if your hole is too big. So. B. We're gonna send it in the morning. Brandon's a little on the tired side, but it's his birthday, so it's gonna be a long night for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be chumming on the way in tomorrow. Hey, no. You know something interesting? That is probably one of the only mallards you'll ever shoot on your birthday. And I'm pretty sure Dutch ripped it up in the boat, so I can't <laughs> even get it mounted. Now we're gonna go get some dinner, and uh, might try and do a podcast tonight if. If all goes well at dinner. Except the only problem is we just got off a 20 hour job and we're all out of words, so, or drive, so we're all out of words. <laughs> yeah. I can muster up some new words, I think. Uh, there's a couple conversations. Yeah, I've been some, sitting on some, some things. I didn't blow it all. Issues. Oh, he didn't blow it all. I didn't blow it all on the ride out here. Yeah, right? sometimes you're driving it. and you're like, man, I want to tell this story. Nah, I should probably save it for a podcast. Yes, exactly. I got a couple of them, so. Well, with that being said, guys, we'll maybe see you later tonight. If not, we'll see you on the next video. This is going to be a series, so you'll have to follow along. This is going to be part one or day one of our Arkansas non-resident duck hunting. We'll see you guys later. See ya.